that off. Turn that off. Turn that fucking shit off. No, no not like that. <laughs> Turn that off. There we go. Hell, hello. Am I coming through? Let me make sure I'm coming through on Twitch. I'm running a... I'm running a bit late. Um, hang on. <laughs> welcome to the stream. <laughs> welcome, welcome to it. Okay, let me check and make sure this is like working and shit. Yes. Cool. Because last time I really fucked up. <laughs> uh, some things. But we don't have to dwell on that now. This is very entertaining so far. Uh, let me show you what's gonna happen. Oh! The stream just got like 20 times better. At least. So, uh. Let me do. I wanna make absolutely sure I'm not fucking up anything else. Let me turn on the music for Shovel, Shovel Knight. Maybe, maybe that'll. Maybe that's something I should do. Uh oh. Um. That's interesting. I've never had that issue before. I can't hear Shovel Knight actually. That's very strange. Let me see what's going on here. That should be there. That should be there. Where do I need output? Uh oh. I kind of want the sound for the game. Is it just like... Is it at least coming through on the stream? Nope. Hmm. Well, ran into our first technical difficulty. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Okay, um... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's up with that. I haven't changed anything since last time. Video capture device... Uh, volume is lower. What do I... What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? It's very strange. I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, it says it's going through. So that's weird. Let me see. Uh, what the fuck? Properties. PS device. Oh, wait. Mm, no. Audio device, ah, uh, should be going through there. Huh. Um, I might have to Google that. Dream Labs. I love technical difficulties. Cause this, the, normally like this would be like, yeah, I care, but the show must go on. But like, this is fucking Shovel Knight. I've never had this, or I've had a similar issue. Hmm, this is a bunch of ads, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad Streamlabs website is uh, fucking useless. When it comes to this sort of thing. Um, I... I'll put desktop on you. I'm 
so confused. I need help. I need a... I need a... A doctor. What the- Hey! Streamlabs, maybe don't close out a shit that I'm using right now, hmm? Maybe that. Um... Device default? Oh no. Maybe that's part of my issue of why... I, the games are all going to shit. That might explain actually a few things why I've had slight um, issues. Well, fuck. I want game audio. <laughs> why? Why every single stream do we have a fucking really stupid hiccup? This doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, why? Everything was fine, like, last night. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Okay, let's try that. That's not a real... Should I put it on monitor and output? Because I can't hear it. I, I can't hear it. The stream can't hear it. Audience can't hear it. No one can hear it. And I don't understand why. Maybe monitor off a little bit. Nope, I didn't do it. See, I don't want it to be that though. Then it goes through. I, mean, I guess that's not the worst thing, but it still pisses me off. Uh, let's turn it down a bit. I think. Let me make sure my filters are all working too. Because I don't want one thing to overpower the other. Seems like everything's working pretty well. I can't tell. I can't, I honestly can't tell. I don't know. I don't hear what you guys are hearing when this happens, so. Okay, well, uh, I just hope it's working. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe now I should do a uh, housekeeping bullshit. Actually, let me make sh absolutely sure that's coming through in the stream, and I don't, I'm not just sound like a fucking psychopath. Okay, good. Keep the mix of that though. Test to be test, test, check to check. Hmm. Fuck. down more. Was that good? I think that's okay. I don't know. Uh, if people think the audio is shit, they'll yell at me, I hope, I pray. Should be fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's 710, so let's do housekeeping shit. That wasn't the most terrifying... Um, technical difficulty I've had. Fuck you. Alright, cool. Uh, welcome to twitch.com slash random ring. Thursday, so why does it say Thursday at 6? Oh, because I started then. Okay. Sorry, got distracted. Hey, uh, my name's Aiden, and I'm going to stream video game. That's pretty cool. You like video games, probably. If you're not sure what a video game is, I'm going to stream this one, and that's going to be a neat time. Um, 
Okay, so here are the rules. Here are the ground rules. Uh, don't say homophobic, transphobic, racist, misogynist, or bigoty shit at all. Um, and don't harass each other, or me, or anyone, ever. It's all shit you should be not doing anyway. But I definitely don't fucking do it here, because I'll probably ban you from my stream. Uh... Uh, don't get actively horny with each other either. Uh, save that shit for a rainy day when you're not in my stream. Like, I don't care what you talk about, like, dicks and, and titty, but, like, don't, like, text fuck each other in my chat. Uh, and don't advertise for listed stuff and don't spam. Uh, and if there's any technical difficulty shit, let me know. I'm still relatively new ish to streaming. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, if, if you see anything fucked up or hear anything fucked up, just let me know. I'm probably unaware of it. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Don't feel like an asshole for, for telling me what's up. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna unplug this. Let's start the game, shall we? Let me make sure this is, um, charged. It is. So, fun fact. Let me start this, too. Actually, oh. It's not gonna let me do that, is it? It's not gonna let me do it. Let me make sure. Oh, no. I don't know if it's gonna let me do that. I think they're separate settings. I think it should be fine. Let me see. Let me make sure. If I hit that and the world explodes, then... Looks like we're okay. Hello? Ooh, there he goes. Yes. Okay, good. Um, Alright. I have Shovel Knight on fucking... Uh, this is uncomfortable. Let me move the mic. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was prepared for the stream. Clearly, I was misguided. I never know where to put my fucking mic or whatever to get comfortable. On PC games, I usually have a pretty good sense, but like, yeah, when it comes to console, I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, I have Shovel Knight Treasure Trove on, on Wii U, and yes, they do still update it as Showdown and all, all the nine miles. All the nine miles. Uh, so we're gonna stream Inspector Torment now. Cause it took me way too long. Let's make a new one. I made that last, uh, or two days ago to make sure everything on my Wii U is working still. Cause I haven't played it since... I probably haven't played my Wii U since this fucker came out. <laughs> it's been a while. So we're just gonna play normal ass Spectre of Torment. Casual as fuck. Just have a good old time, hang out, and talk about how fucking good this game is. Mm. Um, this doesn't matter. Dr. Peppers. Dr. Pep. Pep. Oh, Peppy. <laughs> it doesn't let me do another one. Dr. Peppy. That's good. That's good as shit. Oh, what's up? Tanner's here. I think Tanner and I played this together once, but it wasn't a Spectre. It was like normal Shovel Knight. And I think that was before, I think that was before Spectre of Torment like came out. It was fucking forever ago. But yeah, mostly rip Wii U. Oh, I'm not even doing- fuck, I was gonna play on the gamepad, actually. I'm playing with the Pro Controller, but, uh, fun fact. Uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> Vanilla Shovel. Technically no, but basically yeah. Because Plague was out, I think. Maybe not even- no. Yeah, Plague was out. Because I got- I got, uh, Shovel Knight, like, I think right before, or right a few, like, weeks after, coincidentally, like, Plague of Shadows came out. Because when I beat the game, it was like, you can play as this green fucker. Uh, but yeah, um... 
Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the Wii U version is the best version of Shovel Knight. A lot of people don't know that, but it is. Uh, and it's not because of Amiibo functionality. Because <laughs> uh, I never used that. It's because if you're playing with the gamepad, you can switch weapons and items and shit on the touchscreen while you're playing. So you don't have to pause and change weapon. But uh, I didn't bring the clunky ass gamepad in here to do that. So we're just going to do it the normal way. So this is going to look no different from any other console version of the game. Happy Hall of fucking Ween. Oh, by the- okay, so since Tanner's here... Uh... Or are you still- did you- Let me know if you're still here, because the viewer thing on my end just dropped. Okay, cool. It, uh, cause this is gonna be way less interesting if if either no one was here or or if or if uh, people were here that already were here two weeks ago. So I didn't stream last week at all. Um, here's what happened with Resident Evil 2, cause I think you ducked out um, at the end. I don't remember where you. I don't. I don't know where you left off when I was streaming Resident Evil 2 two weeks ago. But like. In Claire's interrogation room, th there's supposed to be a portable safe that spawns, and it just never did. And, uh, Michael and I both, like, looked on the fucking same walkthrough video, and, like, so I'm not fucking crazy, and it spawns in the place we both, like, saw me pick up a different item. I looked back at the footage and everything, and I was just like, I, c I couldn't figure it out. I don't- and I don't think it's a me puzzled figure it out. I think it's a, like, I found one of the few ways you can possibly softlock Resident Evil 2 for the PS4 and did it. I could just be a dummy and I couldn't figure it out, but that's why we're not, that's why I didn't stream last week. I wasn't feeling it anyway, the streaming in general, but, um, yeah, I think I found one of the few ways to break Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Or, or again, I'm just, I just missed it. Or I'm just fucking stupid and like fucked it up and can figure it out. Which is also possible. Very possible, in fact. Yeah, I had other stuff to do that day too and like just wasn't super feeling. I was just like a little lethargic more than usual. And so I was like, my two options are go play Resident Evil 2 and just fuck around with Leon's story then, or just don't stream. I, yeah, that's the thing, is that I don't even know if it did, like, maybe I'm just missing something, but I went back to the footage of, like, when I first entered the room, and on that cardboard box in the interrogation room is where the portable safe is supposed to spawn, and it spawned the jewel box. Which I did the jewel box, and I unlocked that shit. And the portable safe wasn't in there either. And apparently you really, really, really need the portable safe to, uh, get to the west wing. So... Oopsie. That's why that- that's why that Halloween extravaganza ended early, and now we're playing- And we're just gonna play this and pretend that one didn't happen. You also probably noticed this, uh, maybe, I don't know when you ducked out, but, um, yeah, I had, I had my friend Michael on, he streamed with me, and he was on Discord, but I didn't unmute, uh, before I hit stream, I unmute, like, I mute everything, just so nothing crazy happens, I don't have a fucking dark side fill situation on our hands, where I'm, like, just constantly jerking it before stream. Uh, you know, the natural worst role for everyone who streams, actually, if you know, but that is what happens. Um, but I didn't unmute Discord, uh, which goes through a different output, so it sounds nicer. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so it's just me talking to myself for, like, four hours. Because <laughs> no one can hear Michael, but I could. So that was pretty good. 
Anyway, Spectre of Torment. <laughs> my my normal torment is fucking technical issues with streaming. So uh this is a much this is a much more pleasurable torment. No, no, it was just me being stupid. I, uh, I completely... Usually I unmute it just in case someone comes up on Discord and wants to voice chat, but this time I completely fucking forgot. So yeah, I looked back to Twitch VOD. Oh, another thing I fucked up on. I was just all over the place, because everything else technically went fine. And then I softlocked Resident Evil 2. I had Michael muted. And on top of all that, no one but me can see the Twitch VOD back, so I deleted it. And here's why. Uh, I was... I put on music for the pre-screen, and I swear to god I started it on my album, because, like, I own the exclusive rights to that, so no one gets pissed on, uh, other than me for streaming it. Um, but, so it, went, it played the first track on my album, and then it went to just an album I was listening to recently. It wasn't even the last thing I listened to on Spotify, so it started playing, a, like, a Rush album. And not even a good one. <laughs> not that that matters. And, um, yeah. So it got, uh, flagged. And I couldn't, uh, or I don't know if flag's the word. It definitely got content ID'd. Whatever Twitch is equivalent to content ID is. That I was listening to, um... <sighs> Grace Under Pressure? Whatever Rush album it was. Kids don't listen to Rush these days. They don't know. So yeah, uh, Softlock Resident Evil 2 got sued by Rush and muted Michael all in one stream. It's a great time to be had by all. Oh, I fucked that up. I died. I did the same exact thing two days ago. I didn't even think about it this time. I, I practice just so I'm not, like, incredibly stupid. <laughs> Honestly, like, that would be something that Geddy Lee would say <laughs> if he did give me- if he if he specifically, not Rush's management, if the bassist of Rush, the singer of Rush, was like, uh, yeah, you can use our music. He'd be like, yeah, our music's shit. I don't know why you want to use it on your stream, but you can do it. Like, okay, if you- if, most people, especially around our age, don't really give a shit about Rush. I do, but even I haven't listened to all their stuff. This particular album is like... I don't even like it. <laughs> oh, can I- ah, oh, fuck, I did it again! This is not hard, oh, I'm fucking- oh well, it's an easy place now where I can get it all. Yeah, I'm not, I don't even know if the guys from Rush are, like, aware of what Twitch is. And now it doesn't matter, because they're kind of done since Neil's dead. Which is perfectly fair. May he actually rip and rip. He was a good boy. Very good drummer. I got Rod and Apple. All right, I'm just not gonna get the money back. Fuck it. When I said casual playthrough, I fucking meant it. Um, I guess we should talk about the game that I'm playing. Maybe. That's something I could do. Um, so this is Specky Termin. Uh, this is my favorite of all the- of all the stories in Shovel Knight. This one's my favorite. It's definitely the fucking easiest. Can you please explain what I'm even seeing on screen right now? Um... Basically, you have, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog homing tech, but it's a sword. And it's actually really cool how it works. It feels really nice. I don't know how it translates to, like, just watching it, but playing it, it feels really fucking cool. 
Uh, you'll see more of what I mean by this is definitely the easiest game when we hit like an actual... When we hit an actual boss fight, you'll see. Um, but yeah, you do that and... So there's like... A, let me show... Uh, <laughs> full background in history of creative process. If only I had such information to give. Alright, so let me sh let me show... Fuck, let me die. Alright, so see that, that orange line that comes up means I can do the fucking homing attack slash. Um, and then I just have like a normal slash. Um, the, the diagonal line is good because it shows you what direction you're going to move forward in when you do the slash. So you just have like an anime uh, final sword fight cut slash. Um, sorry, drinking. Uh, oh, I forgot. There's fucking a uh, dead cheek on. I guess I completely talked over like the plot and shit too. I guess I, I was gonna. My plan was to keep that up. I would fucking lose my shit if there was an animated Shovel Knight. I would immediately watch that. Fool! I've come here for you. That, that, I guess that's his voice. You were near before me. Bow before the enchantress and join her order. Your cutting words are no match for my cutting blows. I'll teach you a lesson in humility. So this is like the Black Knight fight from Shovel Knight Uno. But he's got a fucking Triceratops turtle. Who laughs at your very existence because you're a little fucking undead cuck. So as you can see, most projectiles can also be slashed most obstacles in general and bosses to boot um so it probably looks like really fucking crazy and precise uh, but it's not at all it's actually pretty fucking easy it's very fast paced though which is another reason I like it more than Shovel Knight um it's a very nice balance between like platformer and like I guess hack and slash without being a hack and slash. Phase one cannon boss fight the game. Sure. I mean, Shovel Knight one is just Zelda two. Shovel Knight one. I'm calling it Shovel Knight one like it's the fucking. Anyway, so the story, since I skipped over it, is that, uh, uh, this is a prequel to all of it, I think. Uh, even King Knight's campaign, I'm pretty sure. So the Enchantress has employed Spectre Knight to assemble the Order of No Quarter. His first one he wants to get is Black Knight, but Black Knight refuses, and he calls him Donovan. Which is new information to have. That his name isn't Spectre Knight, it's Donovan. What, pray tell, fucking absurdity drama will happen from that point, who knows? Man, <laughs> love me a prequel. Prequels are very fickle, like, story-wise. Uh, but this one is actually done very well. By the way, um, I'm not gonna wait the entire moment. Uh, probably, but fun fact, uh, if you wait here long enough, it gives you an, an achievement for brooding. Nothing happens, you just get, you just get an achievement in-game. Oh, there was a little star that came up, actually. And that's the locket, uh, that Shovel Knight uses to temporarily turn invisible, in invisible, invincible, in, um, that's the phase locket from the main campaign. Ooh. I assume Black Knight has joy in our ranks. Uh, I already forgot what voice I gave him two seconds ago. Neither words nor sight had any effect. And the fool persists in some fruitless quest. Indeed, it seems I'm dealing only with fools here. Was I a fool to trust you? 
tarry here no longer, and for your sake pray that the others are less obstinate. Bring the knights immediately. <laughs> She's mad. Big mad. All right, so here's our hub world with uh, Hedgehogus. I'm the edge farmer. I am. You think you're edgy, do you, you do? Oi. Oi, I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I will. He loves oi. Uh, there's also Sonic Grind. Wall Climb. Uh, Red Skulls, which I'll show you what that does in a sec. I love this game. We're probably not going to beat it uh, on stream. Oh, we're not doing that either. This is... You talk to this dude... It sends you to a secret room in the back, and it's one of the hardest fucking things to do in the game. I've done it. It's so- it's very fun, but it's fucking hard. <laughs> I don't know, part of me is tempted to just like- Because I'm still not 100% sure what to stream in November. I have two ideas that I've been contemplating, but part of me is kind of just like... Maybe I should just beat Spectre Torment on stream, and actually finish a game on my Twitch channel for once. Uh, every time you come back from stages, they, like, give you- there, There's, like, new people that show up here, and they give you stuff sometimes. Uh, there's people that come around here and, like, talk to you. Um... This is the Amiibo Queen. <laughs> Candy Crush November, yes. Uh... It's probably fucking pre-installed every time you update Windows, so... Why not? Uh, let's go to this room first, actually. Oh, so this is cool. Alright, so these little blue... <laughs> little blue ball... The purple orb thingy. And you can, like, beat it around. And you give it to the little buddy, and he gives you money! Like, a lot of money. And then he fucking... It's like, so happy that you gave him the ball and he like, plays with it and shit. It's so cool. Uh, let's see, what other fucking shit can I spoil for anyone who's... Who wants to play this game and see all the secrets for themselves? Go get it! He loves the fucking ball. I can't believe it, I get to deserve the Enchantress. I'm getting fired up just thinking about it. Maybe I should come up with this new special move, something to stand out from all those boring gold armors. I got an idea. How about die? This is awesome, I'm red. I have third degree burns. Anyway, um, I hate getting a new phone and being triggered by the pre-installed Candy Crush. Yeah. Like, on a new phone, I get it, because I'm already going to go through it and, like, figure out what shit I don't want on there anyways that might be pre-installed. So, like, I don't mind. I wish they wouldn't fucking do it. It's infuriating, but I don't mind. But, like, it's when I do shit or upgrade my PC build, and then it's like, Minecraft demo. I'm um, like, uh, if I wanted to play fucking Minecraft, you don't think I'd have it installed on my huge ass fucking AMD build and shit? Like, I update my PC parts and it's like, you don't know what video games are though. Alright, uh, that, that mirror is important. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Bone Clang says if things are looking too grim, use Curios. Which is your MP, I guess. Uh, I don't have anything that's a curious thing yet. But I'm going to. Here's what the Red Skulls do. Yeah, I remember my phone... I have an S10 Plus, and it had, uh... I don't remember what it had pre-installed, but it had a lot of stupid shit on it that I got rid of, like, within a week. I just kept finding new shit that I was like, Get out of my phone, please! Like, it was to the point where, like, you can Google 
like what should I delete off my phone and there's full articles on it maybe like like the programmers or software engineers of it should like not even them the people who get them to do shit they should realize that nobody wants that shit all right can't use the axe or scythe because uh, the skeleton said so that's fucking scary, Halloween! Alright, so now I have Will Skull. He's a good guy. Uh, so here's what he does. You hit L, and he gives you a goop. You have more dark power, and fucking gives you goop. So you can live longer. Which is good. So you can just damage all this shit and yummy 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 excellent away we go so yeah you give a guy red skulls and he gives you curios and those are just items your castlevania arsenal of of uh specter of torment i'm also gonna get the throwing sickle it also gives you this Ape Escape-ass tutorial, which I honestly actually really like. Alright, uh, Sickle. Boink. If I'd a good little boy, I'd probably be able to, um... Ah, shit! If I'm a good little boy, I'll actually probably be able to get a new suit of armor before, uh, uh before whatever the second main level is, or third, or however you want to look at it. It works a lot like Shovel Knight, except you can pretty much go to all the stages at the beginning of the game. You don't go to, like, the Super Mario World map hub world, like, um... Like in Shovel Knight and and actually all the other ones I guess do that except this one. So I'm gonna spend a fuckload of money now on uh, this fucker. Actually, can I get a new suit now? Did I get enough money for that? And I've I've only done like the tutorial level. I haven't done like a real stage yet. And I already got this shit going on. It's beautiful. I fucking love this game. And also, you don't have to do any of this. I'm just doing it because I fucking love Oh, cool, I can already get it. Oh, time to get OP and cheesy. Pro Spectre players, look away. This one, uh... When you die, it makes you drop less money. And when you fall off the end of the world, um... It just takes away damage and darkness gauge instead of killing you. But if you don't have enough damage for it to split, it just still kills you, but it gives... Oh, fuck. The, ball, the, the balls. The balls of money. It gives you fucking balls. It makes, your, it makes you lose like half the money you would have lost in that situation, I think. I think it's half. Uh, is there something up here? I thought there was. Oh, is this another way in here? Um, There's something else here, but yeah, I don't have enough money for it yet, so. Okay, let's go do an actual stage. Uh, get, ooh. get cheesy. Oh, yes. I'm circumcised, so I don't get cheesy. I just get normally fucking disgusting. Oddly fast, too. Just strange. Like, I rarely go outside, and I still feel like... I don't know. I'm probably not as gross as I think I am. But like, if I don't shower for, like, two days, I'm like, Oh my god, someone fucking end me, or please throw me into a shower. Um... Let's do Explodatorium, because that's the other one I did when I practiced, I'll just get that out of the way, because I know it's bullshit now, 
Uh, so, or at least most of it, so I can probably do it pretty quickly. Oh, also, uh, all the, all the, um, the, another reason I like Spectre of Torment is because when Plague of Shadows came out, most of the soundtrack was just the normal Shovel Knight soundtrack. I think they maybe made, like, three new songs for it. Not that that should be an expectation or anything that they should, but this game had, like, an entirely revamped soundtrack just for this, just for the DLC chapter. And it's fucking great. <laughs> I actually bought it. I rarely buy game soundtracks. Unless it's some, like, indie game. Well, I guess this is an indie game, technically. The secret placement's still really fucking great. Like, in Shovel Knight, everything's satisfying as fuck. I won't say the combat's better, but it's definitely more up my street to what I'm used to in a platformer. So I'm more of a Kirby guy than a... More of a Kirby bitch than a... than a... than a... Um... Castlevania... Metroid... kind of shit. Kind of bitch. Kind of bitch. Killing rats! Killing lots of rats. Oh, this is food in here. I thought it would be. I hate it when it's just sustenance. Fucking stupid. Oh, fuck. Oh. I, did, I actually did not mean to do it that way. That was like two pixels away from fucking... If this were actually on an NES, I'd be dead. Uh, I don't remember the trick to this one. Oh wait, no, I figured it out. Fuck. Ah, shit. <laughs> this is Kirby Country. <laughs> Metroidvania ass out of here. Michael loves that shit. That's all he streams is like, well, not that's not all he streams. He mostly streams like Final Fantasy IV randomizer, but when he's not, he's streaming like shit like that. Like he loves Castlevania and shit. I was too much of a baby when I was a kid. Um, I don't know why I didn't get into Metroid though, because Metroid's fucking great. There are like so many good fucking Metroid games that I haven't played. Maybe future shit for, uh... Maybe future random rings stream? Make platformers great. Do honestly, like... Not for president or vice president, but for shit like... State plumbing or whatever the fuck. Stuff like that. Like, I genuinely thought about doing a ride-in for a second. I was gonna put in something stupid. Kirby would have been a great one for that. Because really, any problem that I can think of uh, with our nation at this point in time, honestly, not that could do political, but uh, Kirby could probably fucking immediately fix it, whatever it is. Police brutality, eat cops, uh, fucking funding of very heavily needed public things like school funding. Uh, he can just eat everything that the funding was wrongly taking up. Sometimes has sword. He can become teacher Kirby and teach children about uh, whatever happens in fucking Dreamland, I guess. It's history from a different world, but it's still history, goddammit. I actually just played the Kirby Fighters 2 demo on the Nintendo Switch. And I, uh, don't know how to feel about it. Court of Kirby in session, all rise for the- All rise for the Honorable Lord Kirby! <laughs> oh, I can't do it right now. <laughs> Why can't I do Kirby? He's in between- Kirby is, like, in between- Elmo! And, like, hmm... What is he between? 
It's like a mix of like fucking animal voice and Pokemon. I guess. Cause you still have to be breathy when you do it. No, it's, it's for authenticity's sake. That's why doing Kirby's voice is hard for me because I don't have lady voice. And I'm pretty sure Kirby is voiced by a woman. Pretty sure. I don't remember her name though. <laughs> you think I would know by now? Because it's usually the only voice in in old Kirby games. Sir Lady Kirby, I, <laughs> I wish. The beautiful maiden, Sir Lady Kirby. Fuck! There's secrets back there. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm gonna kill myself. I'm just gonna die. I couldn't even get the secret. It's over. I'm fucking done. Alright, uh, we're gonna go back and do that since the checkpoint's right fucking there. That eagle fucked with me and goofy. Here we go. This is the spot. Um, why am I fucking this up? Very easy. Easy peasy, head squeezy. Cause it's Halloween, so it's gruesome. Gore is scary. It's so spooky. <sighs> ah, fuck you. If it looks like I'm doing pretty okay, which it probably doesn't, but if it does look like that, uh, this is, I think, supposed to be one of the easiest stages in Spectre. Which is funny, because it's a fucking bitch in Shovel. <laughs> this game is too pliant. <laughs> too, too pliant. I said too pliant when I read Violent. My brain is broken. Resident Evil is for kids only. It's a child-friendly game. There was that little girl at the end of, uh, at the end of two, at the end of me playing two. <laughs> In the fucking parking garage. Just for kids. Saying I'm gonna, saying kid, do what I want or I'm gonna fucking shoot you in the goddamn face is, is, uh, just what kids need these days, you know? They need health. Should have brought the gamepad. Fuck me. Wait, actually, how do I change weapon? It's not that button. Is it like X and Y? No. X doesn't do anything. Oh, is that? Yes. The buttons are all weird because I tried to make it as like NES as possible. Or SNESI, rather. Graphic NES -y. Control SNES -y. Playing any Shovel Knight game for too long fucks me up because the B button selects everything. Like, like in old 80s games. Not sure how that translates to other consoles. I. I actually haven't played this on anything other than uh, Wii U, except- Ah, uh, fuck! Out of curiosity, I think I played like a Swi- uh, not a Switch. Uh, 3DS demo. Which, I don't even think the 3DS has all this shit. Is there a secret here? No, there's not. Yeah, I don't- I, I'll, I'll revisit, I actually will unironically revisit some Resident Evil shit at some point. Uh, don't know if I'll stream it or not. Change your weapon with the change weapon button. I fucking hate that shit. That's Mega Man shit, actually. Actually, actually, we should we should stream some Mega Man sometime because I have like every fucking Mega Man on Steam now. 
and I haven't played like any of them, I would love to revisit some fucking Mega Man firsthand. I hate looking. Oh, like old 80s. Yeah, old 80s games and shit. It's like there would there would be menus where like it doesn't convey anything to you, and it would be like, oh, uh, you want to do anything? You have to hit the select button. Like it's so fucking. Back before people knew what they were doing, it's so fucking weird to look back on now. That's honestly why I don't even get into a lot of fucking, like, NES shit. I just, it boggles my fucking brain. It was a very strange and different time. And, um, maybe it's okay that it's over. Press select and the action button. Like, in, it's weird too, because in some- Ah, oh, fuck. In some NES games, shit like that is like a secret cheat code, or like something that hacks something- hacks something. God, I'm fucking old. Um, but like... Yeah, in other- but in, then in other games, it's like, no, this is just how you do the grapple. We put in a grapple. Oh, I fucking died. I need to use the Will Smith weapon. What's it called? Will Skull. That's what I need to do. Put it back on fucking... Uh... Patch it. Like I was gonna actually use it. Actually, I'm gonna get this food. Cause I fucked up. Ah, I fuck. <laughs> I immediately fucked it up again. I'm just bad at... Paying attention to the game and commentating at the same time. Um, I have thought about streaming Ninja Gaiden 2, though. That's an NES game that I actually like. And Mega Man's really not that bad, because Mega Man's just fucking jump and shoot, and then go to menu to change things to jump and shoot. Um, pretty much all the way to 6. Pressing R2 to do anything is a sin. Um, the R2- <laughs> I, I'm cancelling the R2 button. I hate press R2 to win. I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. I'm assuming quick time event. If- in, in which case I wholeheartedly agree. I fucking hate the vast majority of quick time events in games. Oh, I already got the thing from here. Let me get back in here. Gotta fight Green Hemorrhoid again. This fucking shit bag. Come on, just die, please. For my children, just die. This guy's really fucking me up. You guys are like pretty fairly easy, you know. And shovel. Spectre, the ass. What the fuck? How many hits does he fucking take? Why does that move, like, not counter? Oh, boy. That was embarrassing. Um. Actually, speaking of pressing R2 to win, I actually, that's how I broke one of my PS3 controllers. I have three PS3 controllers, and part of the reason for that is because the one that came with it, I used on the demo for God of War Remastered, and it fucking broke it. Because the R2 button on PS2 was a button, so like, it, it didn't fuck up your shit when you smash the fuck out of it for a long time. But on PS3, it's like a trigger. So if you do the backlash a certain way and just snap the fuck out of it, it fucks with a trigger. It's not like a button you can spam comfortably anymore. So, there's... And it's not even like, you have to do this to beat the dragon thing. It's like, do this to open this chest that'll give you HP you don't need. 
and so I did it, and it's like repeatedly press R2, and I heard it make like little clicky noises, and I was like, I don't want to do that anymore, and it was like, you have to do it, it's God of War! So, I did it. I think it works better now, like it's somehow like manifested back into shape, like an actual human muscle, but, uh, yeah, that was weird. I never liked God of War anyway, but that didn't help. <laughs> that I'm going to constantly forever remember that as the game that broke my PS3 controller. Oh boy, that was scary. There's health here. Just random tools that can only be used in very specific situations, so instead of interesting gameplay, you just press R2. Oh, like The Last of Us listening mode and shit. Not as bad as Quick Time Events for me, but, um... In The Last of Us, it was okay. In most games after The Last of Us, they just did it because The Last of Us did it, and people thought that was a cool feature to make their game for babies. Um... Uncharted 4 actually does similar shit, which is weird. That is, like, not great. It makes it easier in Uncharted 4. I don't know, but yeah, most games that do this shit, it's fucking stupid. By the way, we're fighting Plague Knight now. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit, though... Also tears me up. I don't like it. But it doesn't, like, infuriate me, it's just like, uh... That's kinda lame. Quick time events, like... Piss me off. That is, they're laughably stupid. Okay, that's a clone. This guy makes clone war. Clone warfare. My favorite Star Wars video game. Oh. I fuck. Oh, fucking killed him. Holy shit. That was actually weirdly quick. I had issues with him last time. Damn. I'm just born to unlock a tool and have to reason to use it two or three times at most. I'm trying to think of a specific example of what you're talking about. Because I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of like. It's a game I've played recently that, like, does that. I mean, fuck, there are platformers that do it. Like, Crash Bandicoot does it. There's a loud thud noise in my apartment. I'm just gonna assume that was okay. Um... What's he talking about? Oh, yeah, the tool that you- yeah, like, the- the- Because Crash Bandicoot 3, right, it has the fucking, like, fruit bazooka. Which is cool and all. And you can use it, like, around, so it's not the worst example of that, but, like, it- it-, it Like, it, they really only want you to use it for certain things, and you never do it again. Or if the tool is just a gimmick for just that level. That shit's the worst. The Sly Cooper trilogy is full of- that kind of thing. Uh, actually, no, it's not. What am I talking about? That's just the whole game. This is how I feel about that whole game, I guess. I'm trying to think of a better example. But yeah, that shit does happen, and it's fucking stupid. Uh, free lost soul if reflects off the surfaces. I mean, should power for close range strike. And the thing is, with tool shit like that, though. It's really easy, I feel like, to implement it in a way where it's not boring and stupid. Like, you can do it where, like, I own the entire trilogy and I've never put of a uh, Sly. I don't like the Sly series very much. Yeah, um, 
I still stand by what I said in my old reviews from forever ago, back when I was a cringy fucking game review YouTuber. Um, and sadly, the slide two and three reviews are probably two of my best ones. Um, yeah, slide one is good. Slide one is just like a good kids platformer. It's good shit. Uh, it feels nice to play. The replay value is like actually really hard. So like, if you're really into it, it's nice to keep going. But it's it doesn't super benefit you like otherwise. So it's not unfair. Um. But Sly 2 and 3 added Grand Theft Auto elements to it, because Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank did, and it's just fucking shit. I hated it. It's not the worst, but it drives me up a fucking wall. And then the fourth one that fans hate, I actually thought was really good. But it's pretty much just like Sly 2 and 3, but less annoying. So yeah, I feel like platforming shit that just shoves a bunch of enemies in your face and makes it beat em up sections where like most of the damage is pretty much unavoidable. Um, with dumb puzzles, for the most part. And um, yeah, it's Sly 3 is a cool pirate thing. I mean, fuck it, you already have it, so you might as well play it for yourself someday, see for yourself, but personally, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Sly 1's fun, though. Oh, uh, let's get this guy back in his little thing. Serving Mole Knight is the worst. If I'm not on guard, he makes me dig. Don't even get me started on the temperature. I wish I could work somewhere cool and wet. Well, let's not do a sex pun and let's do this. Oh, you fucked it up. Ah, <sighs> Red Knight, you piece of shit. I'm very un indifferent on Jack. I also own that trilogy, but never finished them. I like the Jack trilogy. Uh, when I first played through them, I was like, man, Jack 1 is way too easy and is fucking boring, and Jack 2 and 3 are badass. But now, like, revisiting them as an adult again. Well, I guess I was an adult then, too. Uh, after revisiting them as a competent adult, <laughs> I actually like Jack 1 a lot. I think it's a cool game. All right, I gotta line this up so the guy fucking gets hit by the purple. I think Jack 1's good. Uh, I platinumed it. I don't know what that really says about the game. It's one of the few games on PSN that I platinumed. Ah, shit, I fucked it up. I gotta make this guy purple, damn it. I'm the only one who can. Oh, no. What's the big idea? My suit's all rusted. It's like someone set it on fire and then made it purple. But now I can go to the Iron Whale. I need some kind of nautical attack, like an anchor or something. Yeah, that's how I felt about... When I first played... Well, uh, uh, see, me as young and I didn't grow up with PS2, really. I got a PS2 as an adult. Pretty much. I got it when, like, rock or no. When did I get that? I think I got my PS2 in Rock Band 1 or Rock Band 2 was a new one. I don't remember which one now. But anyway, yeah, so I, I experienced PS2 shit late. I experienced it all through, like, PS3 remasters and shit. Like, Jack, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Sly, Okami, all that shit. It was all PS3 for me. Um, but yeah, when I played through them, Jack 3 was like my favorite one, and I watched all like the bonus footage that they chalked in and shit, because I thought it was super interesting, which it is, but now I'm like, yeah, the open world did it, and it's not as fun, but I, Jack did it way better than Sly, like Sly makes the game like uns insufferable to me, I don't, I, that's how I feel about Sly 2 and 3. Okami's a whole other level of fucking... Okami's fucking great. I love Okami. If that game wasn't, like, 30 hours long, I would stream that someday. <laughs> uh, which one should I do next? Let's do... let's do 
King Knight. Since he's the other one that has a story mode. Considering your visit, it was so long. I don't remember. Is it actually really that long? I thought it was just long because I didn't, like, because it was my first playthrough of it and I didn't get half of it. I mean, it's not short. Truth be told. Oh, hey, Easter egg. <laughs> Fuck, do I get that gem? I want that one. How do I get it? There you go. I want to replay Okami because I still uh, got to the end of the game, like the second to last boss fight, I think, and just never beat it. Remember just dungeons dragging? Really? Hmm. I don't remember it being that bad. I mean, it does get... Some of the fighting gets a little repetitive, especially once you find a weapon that works for you that feels good and, like, you know the combos with it and how to use them effectively, then it's like... There's no reason to use anything other than what you found. Uh oh. Damn. That was an unfortunate type of... Um, you're probably right then. That's, I mean, it's Dog Zelda, so... It's Dog Devil May Cry Zelda. Sometimes, there's gotta, there's gotta be one dungeon that everybody's just like, I don't like that one. I think I was into the beads. Lol. I think the bead, the rosary was my favorite. Uh, I tried to use all of them though, just to try them out, because I fucking love Okami. And it was an excuse to keep doing everything. Nice. Oh, that was a dumb move for me. Oh, hey, Jesus. Can't go that way. I'm kind of not glad. I'm. I. I think the. Clover Studio things hold this shitty from what I've heard of it. Um, but like, fucking, there's some shit I'm kind of weirdly glad that like is kind of dead. If that makes sense, that's a very cynical way to say it. <laughs> like I look at how Mario is being shelled out and shit now and stuff like that, and also how Capcom whores out all of its franchises that are successful. At any varying degree, especially Street Fighter and DMC and Resident Evil, like, and shit like that. It kind of makes me... There's a part of me that's glad that, like, they fucked over Clover and now all those properties are kind of fucked. Because if they, they would... There'd be, like, fucking 15 Beautiful Joe games now, and they'd probably all suck dick. Like, they probably make, like, Okami... Uh, I don't even fucking know. I don't even know how they would fuck up Okami to find a way. Okami Racing. Okami Sudoku. Okami Pacross. Uh, is there something else here? I think that pit's just a pit. I don't think there's anything ha happening. Diamonds. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was diamond by Rihanna. I just recently watched a Let's Play of Wonderful 101. Like, I can't imagine if they, like, if Capcom milked that shit, how fucking shit it would be. Actually, speaking of which. Well, I guess that one's a platinum one, so it's different. 
Supposedly Capcom just owns all that shit though now. Like, there's no real reason for them not to whore it out and hoard it too. Like the one time fans probably want somebody to whore out. Like, er, the one time f fans probably want Capcom to whore out a franchise is probably with shit like Okami and Beautiful Joe and stuff. And, uh, let's see, other one. Killer 7's one of those I'm trying to think of. Fuck, I can't think of the other one. Maybe it's just Killer 7 I'm thinking of. Oh, I jeebus. I crud. Fucking crud. I'm really goofing it over here. Only Sega would hard. Sega already hoard out Sonic in 2005. And we all saw what comes when you pour out Sonic. I'm hoping that they've been secretly developing a, um... Not a Sonic Adventure 3, per se, but... A, um... But I'm hoping because the anniver the big anniversary what is it 30? Yeah, no, hang on, 91, 2001, 2011. Yeah. <laughs> the Sonic MMO. How much? How longer do we have to wait, Sega? Um, I don't remember if you played Sonic Chronicles, but like, I've already seen what happens when when Sonic Team does a uh, a standard RPG, a traditional RPG. I don't, I don't want to know what they do with an MMO. I'd probably still play it though. Let's be real. I love me some Sonic cringe. If I don't get burnout on streaming, I think on I think in June I'm gonna stream a bunch of Sonic. I think that should be the new thing that I do. But yeah, the 30th anniversary is coming, so I'm hoping they've been like secretly cooking up some fucking crazy like 3D Sonic game that's infinitely better than Forces. That was not supposed to be a pun. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. I've become cringe. I honestly did hope for a long time, though, that they would make a uh, Sonic Chronicles sequel, but it got cancelled, so... Adventure... Yeah, but Adventure 3 rumors are always abound. There was one that almost got me with, like, uh... It was, like, three or four years ago. It was a guy who worked at Sega, and, like, he, sh he had a picture of something that was gonna be, like... Or no, it was like a Reddit post, and it had a picture of a guy's, like, ID that was supposedly a Sega ID, and he was talking about how he used to email what's-his-fuck as somebody else. It wasn't even anybody big in the company, like, that people know about either, so I don't even know why he thought that would be, like, a thing. And it, 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 because it had the ID card, people thought it was real, and it, it slightly including me, I was kind of like, eh, alright, I'll bite maybe a little and hope, if only in hope. And he was like, yeah, we've been talking about Sonic Adventure 3. Uh, they were going to bring... Sticks from Boom, I think, into the universe. <laughs> Something like that. Like, it was... It was very far-fetched. I think Big was going to be playable again. And I was thinking, like... If it, from what it sounded like, he was like, it's very, very pre-alpha. I'm like, well, then they wouldn't really be talking about bringing in that many characters yet, probably. They'd probably just be making sure, like, the engine works. I would imagine. Gen Janitor Sega claims Adventure 3 will be out this November. How much, though, like, actually, how much would you fucking piss yourself if, like, on YouTube, like, tomorrow, Sega releases a fucking video that's, like, a, a teaser. It's just, like, set, it, like the title of the video is just, like, he's back, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, this 3D teaser, and it plays, like, a, a guitar riff from Jun Sanoi.
because I shit on I shit on Sonic constantly, but also like I would lose my fucking shit. I've talked to other people about it too, like because we're all just like, man, Sonic fucking blows. There's so many bad Sonic games. This is shit. And then like they're like, and then somebody be like, Sonic Adventure three, and uh, people be like, yeah, I'd play it. I'm gonna need to see some gameplay before I'm excited. Like, I, w I will be one of the fucking few dummies that just buys it from title alone. All they need to do, which is, I'm hoping they don't, they could just totally shell out a shitty game and title it Sonic Adventure 3. And, and that'd be it. It would make us so much fucking money, though. It'd probably make more money than Forces, at least. The only way that it could fuck up is if they, like, announce microtransactions or something. <laughs> but yeah, my hope, and I know this, there's no way this is the case, but my hope is that the reason why Sonic Forces came out when it did and why there hasn't been a whole lot of, like, 3D Sonic in-house Sonic Team shit coming out and no, no news of it. Sonic 06 finished and released his adventure thing. And they're like, look, we did it! This was what we- our vision the whole time. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they've been brewing a good one, actually, and, like, giving- have been giving Sonic Team time in-house to actually fucking make a good game. That's kinda sorta like Adventure 2. Or even a mix of Adventure 1 and 2. I'm not picky. Fuck it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I have to do that again, I fucked up. Match, not taking. Um, I don't care if they do Sonic 06 though, because Sonic 06 fucking is already getting a fan made PC remake or whatever, and it actually looks like they tried, <laughs> is all I can say. It's called like Sonic P06 or something like that. I don't remember what they called it. It's got all these little like hidden gel gems and shit gonna have that hub world to sell it as open worlds. <laughs> They'll make it all pre-rendered to where it's one thing and shit. No loading time between areas. Actually, that would just be a good thing. <laughs> I'm saying that as a joke, as if like, wow, they did this. They should give me my fucking Chow Garden. There's a, um, there's a fan, there's a fan-made Chow Garden game that actually looks fucking great. I've never played it. I don't remember what it's called, but, like, it looks fucking legit. It's more based off of the, like, Game Boy Advance, uh, like, Chow Garden, though, but, like... Fuck it. That's mostly graphically. It, otherwise, it's got fucking drives and everything. The only problem is that it's just a Chow Garden game. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think a lot of people would take much issue with that. But yeah, if they do release a Sonic Adventure 3, like, officially, and that's what it's called, and that's what it is, and there's not a Chow Garden, I'll even be disappointed. I don't, I don't even fuck with Chow Garden that much. I did when I was a kid. I made an angel chow and a, and a chaos chow and then said, uh, that's good for me. I still never completed Sonic Adventure 2. I should do that someday. Maybe that could be a stream thing. 
grab a shovel and start digging? Just thinking about that makes my flawless face flush. Working is for commoners, but I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Watch! He shoves the hand up ass. Immediately. <laughs> See? I can do this all day, Donovan. Oh shit, fuck. I'm actually fucking up a bit. Sometimes I do that on stream. Most of the time I'm perfect, but other times I fucked up. And he's dead. Get your rats out of here. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. I love this fucking game. Uh oh. The colors are gone. The amount of possible chow you can create in two is amazing. And honestly, they were really going somewhere with the fucking AI of the chow. If they made a new one today, like, like, and actually made it more complex, like complex, that'd be. They honestly could just sell that as a game on its own. Like, not a mobile game, like a real fucking game. Like, they could release that on PS5 and, pe and it, people would fucking eat it up. I would consider buying it, for sure. Oh, oh, he's, he's helping me. I don't want your help, I want to beat these fucking... These fuckers. I don't know how many secrets are in the fucking flashback. <laughs> oh, fuck, no, no, no. All I had to do was hit the fucking button and I would have not died. Now to think of the fucking implications of, uh... My future money being fucked up by my past self. I want Adventure 2 on Switch so bad. Have they not? Have they not? I thought they did. It's on fucking everything, so I guess I just assumed. Huh. I guess Sega's just like, not into money these days. They're like, eh, too much money. Just like I did, skipping that bag of money I lost. Too much money. Don't need it all. Should I try to get up there? Fuck with this Goombus? It's kind of just extra doubloons. It's not important. Luan, you new character ass motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I think I fucked that up. I think I slashed the side and didn't do the wall jump. I don't even think I can get those. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Got him. Oh, this is the only thing I have. So I actually can't do that thing I was going to do. Oh, guess that, guess that money's gone. Lost more money on the fucking flashback level than I have on the actual bosses. Huzzah! Oh, not one of these fucks again. Honestly, I'm probably in the minority, but I would like to see them, like, rebuild heroes from the ground up and make it less of a fucking glitchy mess. Because I, I unironically love heroes. But, I don't know. 
I don't think I don't think many people give a shit about that one. Oh, this is the fucking uh this is the Tower of Brooding. Do you think the amulet will truly protect him from all harm? Your boy has much to learn about the world. That was a flashback. Now he said, mm, still said. Uh, does he have new shit? Cast a reflection and attack from a distance. Uh, oh, I remember that one. Yeah, let's do that. This carrier is well guarded. As all of them are. Let's begin, let's proceed. Why is it cold in my room? I swear to God, somebody's just constantly turning a knob in my room to make it cold and then hot as fuck. Uh, on, 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 off. And I don't like it. But yeah, I'm curious, because even if it's not a Sonic Adventure 3, like, they have to have something planned for a fucking 30th anniversary Sonic game. See if I remember how to fucking use this. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Can also get in here, get some money. <laughs> Corona the hedgehog. Fucking get up. Oh, duh. I don't get up there. <laughs> What's the fucking saying? Remember, Tails, face, hands, and space. Space? Did you say space? Oh, fuck. Oh, I saw her. You triggered his. That's what Knuckles sounds like now. Actually, it does kind of sound like that now. I miss Dan Green Sonic. Or er, Dan Green Sonic. <laughs> Dan Green Knuckles. Uh, do I even want another suit? I don't want another suit right now. Did I miss another fucking thing? Fine. I guess I want extra MP. Ugh. <sighs> Sheepish. See what King Knight has to say. Oh, look at the snivelling servant! Here to wait on me! Hey, you servant! Yes, you! More chickens at once! Ha <laughs> ha! Glamorous! He doesn't even give me money. What a bitch. See this guy? He gives me money. It's like, if you're gonna be- if you're not- if you're gonna be in the hub world, and you're not even gonna give me money, the fuck is the point? What's this guy's deal? Can't talk to him. Is that my real dad? Who else we got? Uh, I can upgrade. Reflection extends farther and can pick up items. I'll see how I feel about that later. Oh, hey, Spectre Knight. You know, no one ever told me how boring it would be to guard the ocean. It's so dull and empty, just staring into an endless void for hours on end. I wish I could guard somewhere exciting. Alright, let me wait for him to fucking side. Actually, I probably could have just done it there. Shit. 
All right, here we go. Oh no! Great. Oh, intense. My adrenaline is pumping. I feel great. Like I could leap high into the air where an airship would be. And I'm green. I've got it. I'm going to burst onto the scene over the explodatorium. Oh, I thought he was implying that he was going to go to the airship. My pun can fuck itself. Oh god, what if they make Sonic Adventure 3 topical and Eggman, like, spreads a virus to everybody and it only works because everyone thinks it's a fucking hoax? And the only way to cure it is the Chaos Emeralds? Uh... Yes, let's go. Um... What to next? I already beat Explodatorium. Uh, he talked about the ocean. Let's go to the ocean. Are you prepared to visit the Iron Hall? I don't remember how this one goes in Spectre. It's pretty fucking annoying in Shovel and, uh... And, uh, King. Oh yeah, it's because like the weird floaty ball. Mm, the soundtrack is so fucking good. Oh my god, yes. Uh, oh, I gotta move this over here. There we go. That's what I'm fucking talking about, see? There's anything the other way? It probably was. Oh wait, yeah, there probably was. Fuck. I missed a secret. Shit. Oh well, fuck it. Not going for like completion. I don't know why I care. I'm not even gonna beat the game on the stream. Uh yep, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Oh fuck. Oh, I almost fucked that up really bad. Yeah, this song ripped off of Dragon Force is actually fucking bad. Oh, before I forget to talk about it, fuck. Um, next uh, week, I might str I might change my stream schedule again. It'll still be Thursdays, uh, but I think I might make it eight instead of seven. But I don't know yet. I don't know how I feel about it. I might make- I might change it. It won't go any earlier than 7, though. Um... Anyway, what I was gonna talk about... Uh... I have two main things I'm thinking about doing for... Uh, November. If I don't just keep streaming this, I probably won't. Uh... So I'm gonna stream... My two options I'm thinking of are, uh... Dragon's Dogma, the Steam port of Dragon's Dogma. Or, I have The Witcher 1 installed. I haven't played either of them yet. Uh, I've played a demo of Dragon's Dogma like once. The Witcher 1 will be completely new to me though. Uh, Dragon's Dogma might as well be. And I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. Thinking about it though. Kind of, I'm really torn because the show just came out of Dragon's Dogma. And I haven't watched it, but other people might like. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's a more current topic than The Witcher One. So part of me's like, uh, for audience retention purposes, of maybe more people will come see my shit. Maybe I should do Dragon's Dogma. At the same time, CD Projekt Red is coming out with a new game in November. That's supposedly going to shatter the fucking world with its Keanu Reeves being in it. Um, 
to playing one of their old games that no one else has fucking played might be interesting to people. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. Oh yeah, that's right, it's not coming out in November, you're right, I forgot. Uh, I don't remember when it's coming out now. But, um, yeah, somebody was talking about that. Because I have a few friends that are like, Oh, Cyberpunk 2077! I need it in my veins! Which is all well and good. I'm not super excited about it. I wasn't super excited about it already, but recently I've heard of... Uh... They pretty much just confirmed that they've been grinding the fucking staff. Like, even with a delay, they still were, like, putting a bunch of people into fucking crunch mode. Like, a lot. Which is weird, because they're, like, basically an indie company. Oh, that's what the green suit does. I can't... I don't think I can do anything with that, though. Uh, I think I'm fucked. No, wait, no, I'm not fucked. Uh, uh, yes! Whew, that was close, though. Yeah, I completely forgot I got delayed again. I probably wasn't gonna pre-order it anyway. With most big budget modern games, I either never play them or I just wait until they're like... patched. Or on sale, or both. That's why I didn't get... I didn't buy The Witcher 3 until... Late... Last... Like, November last year? Or, like, early this year, I think. When I finally bought The Witcher 3 and tried it for myself. It was during a big sale, so I want to say it was November. I think it was like a Cyber Monday kind of deal. Oh no, there's something up here. Oh, there's something up here. The main thing that turned me off, though, honestly, with Cyberpunk was just the gameplay doesn't look interesting to me. It's not really a whole lot going for it that makes me want to play it. Like, it's one of those games that I feel like I've fucking played before already. It just has more shit in it to do. Oh, fucking god, eels. Ah. They got fucking guillotine. I can't wait for Cyberpunk 2077 to be bad, though, so all the fans of it can be like, but it was bad, and I'll go more like more, more, more like CD Project Wrecked. When does Pokemon Snap come? I don't know, actually. I was pretty sure it was 2021. Uh, but I don't, I don't remember when they said that was gonna come out. Is that Google worthy? Is that me pulling out my phone and looking it up worthy? Is it, call, is it called Pokemon Snap 2? Uh, right now it's just called new- oh, it's called New Pokemon Snap. Um, uh, it's planned for release. I don't think they've announced the date yet. Yeah, it doesn't look like they've released a date for it yet. I'm assuming next year, which I'm fine with. <laughs> Cyberpunk better gig better be good or I'll tie that disc to a rope and hang it. Yeah, why don't anybody What's uh, remember all those videos that was like a meme thing to do for like a long time where people were like taking copies of Sonic 06, which is just like an unfinished mess. And they were like burning it and like snapping it in half and shit. And they were like celebrating the game being ass, but they bought it and played it anyway. Why does no one do that with like subpar AAA titles? Why don't people go full fucking anarchy on 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 shit that was given like a billion dollar budget and still did shit? 
No one ever does that for Call of Duty. It's only when Sonic gets bad that people are like, LOL, this is shit. Even though the main, the main reason that Sonic games are usually ass is because they get rushed to fuck. They give shit like Destiny like 7 million years for the development and it still eats entire fucking place of dick. Happy Halloween. Oh, I gotta fight the anglerfish. See, this is dark. There's a big fish. It's scary. It's a Halloween game. For Halloween. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck no. Oh, the fish are not bad. Okay, good. <laughs> Destiny was fun at first, but God, though, I fucking... I hate Destiny. I had somebody force me to play Destiny 2 finally for myself, and I was just like, oh my god, why do people still play this? I fucking, I hate Destiny. And now that Activision owns it, it's even worse. I would argue. I don't even know if, uh, even worse isn't even accurate. I don't think it was ever good. <laughs> but that's just me. I, I have a very limited scope on the world of Destiny, so the fact that you played it enough to to say it got dull, uh, <laughs> is, uh, more, more expertise on the game than I have. I played a couple hours of Destiny 2 and I was like, yep, this is Halo with loot boxes. This isn't fun. <laughs> and I like Halo too, is the thing. It doesn't feel fun like Halo, like, none of it's fun. It's just hordes of enemies. Like, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I genuinely had more fun with that grind fest of a fucking shithole of a game than I did with Destiny. Sorry, Destiny 2. But yeah, like, case in point, no, no, no one was like, Destiny sucks, let's go fucking throw copies at old people on TikTok. No one did that for Destiny. Only Sonic. Only Sonic gets that shit. Oh shit. I panicked and blew a missile. Topical. Except no it's not. Nobody's throwing missiles right now. Not this instant. It up. Bullet sponges aggravate me. You mean the bosses? Since that's what they are. Oh, I, I, God, I'm really fucking fucking up here. There we go. That's the ticket. That's what I was looking for. When I was when I was playing Destiny 2, it's like what I said every single time that they uh like every time we fought a boss, I was just like, oh no, the boss is coming up. This thing's gonna have a lot of HP. Oh god. And then it did. So much HP. Here I missed. Oh, <laughs> damage. I didn't have enough missiles in my mouth. That's what I was missing. Platform piggies. Oh, thank you. Scary. Happy Halloween. <laughs> did it. 
Alright. Uh. Yeah. It worked how I thought. <gasps> ah, shit. Well, it wasn't far enough. I almost said I wasn't long enough. Damn it. Go down. Donovan, stop doing that. Donovan! Water. I love water. Oh, yeah. Okay. That feels better. Anyway, <laughs> now I, when my voice is hydrated, it just becomes. <sighs> Back in the hot seat with Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. I guess this fish doesn't die. I die. Clearly, but a uh, fish, not so much. All the other fish die. This die. This fish is just a bitch. Fucking sick of bitch fish. Nope, no more getting hit by bitch fish. Yeah, bitch fish. All right, bitch fish is. Oh no, bitch fish is still here. Get away, fish, bitch fish. One fish, two fish, red bitch, bitch fish. Fuck. Uh, okay, almost there. Yeah, you dick. Oh my god. Bitch fish. I didn't mean it. I can get slapped by an anchor though. That's something I can do. Alright, this is probably. Oh, what the fuck, game? <laughs> game? Making me do things? Challenging? What the fuck? This isn't what I wanted when I bought Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment to be tormented by difficulty and having to hit buttons and such. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Assuming there's not health in here. Oh, there's totally health. Uh. <laughs> no. I need you to die, please. <laughs> or that works too. Uh. No, stop it. I need to go to secrets, Phil. We have all the secrets. Oh. No! <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Oh, I'm so glad I had the cheap suit. <laughs> Is that gonna anchor me? Yes. God damn it. Oh, I don't have any juice to do the juice the skull either. So it might kill me, actually. <laughs> Very possible at this point. Yep. Anything with a shield in this game, I just I fucking can't deal. I don't know why. I get I get used to them eventually in shovel, but like Inspector and King, I'm just like, no, they, they fucking suck. I can't do it. I tried him, but yeah. Get, uh, what what eel? Why would he have an eel inside him? What strategic benefit does that have? There's no secrets in here, what the f- What secrets? Actually, then. There he is, submarine knight. 
the irony that I just ran out of water. <laughs> I just brought... But, uh, oh. <laughs> I just brought my, brought my sheep to the surface, and already I find a bigger unbarred. I'm not here for a while now. Instead, I bring a proposition. I'm destructing savage ruins someplace else in Chargers' financial. Oh, I'll gladly spend gold to make gold, but how can I take your word that my investment will be secure? A king's gonna find me on ones. Behold, a clips of the power of command. Bitch. Fuck. <laughs> Bitch. Ah, uh, well, I'm getting my ass thumped. Somebody call fucking Chumbawamba because the tub is tipping over. Did I just call them Chubbawumba? And done. He gets knocked down, but he doesn't get back up again. I'll make sure of it. I don't know what what that's not really what I imagine is Donovan's voice, but I don't I don't have a better one. It's probably more like Geralt from Witcher. I would imagine. But I don't fucking know. What do I look like? His mom? Actually, a little bit. My heart grows cold. Please let me see my red wife. I don't remember Hover Plume. Vile Plume's final form. You hit the battle the other way out. Hey, Jesus. I don't remember how this one works. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember this one. This one's fun. <laughs> Have weird space physics for the. Oh, you can chain it. Fuck yeah. I like that one. Alright. No more of those for a bit. Um. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and get more drinky. Uh. I feel like I need it. And then we're gonna get through some more Spectre of Torment. I guess I'll just leave this on. I am Donovan. I need to go pee. While Aiden goes pee, I will stay and think about him being. Don't go anywhere. He'll probably be back in like five minutes thanks Donovan this is why we're good friends I always have my back when I need to pee
I'm back. I left the music on for for just for you. I'm gonna be disgusting and eat a little little snack first before before I go back in. Mm. Sorry, I try not to do this while streaming or recording, but this I, I needed the food. <laughs> Are there a bunch of streamers that have, like, the uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail intermission, uh, scene? Is, like, their AFK? Furthermore, is it legal to do that? <laughs> Follow-up question, if no one is doing it, can I be a hack and do it my hypothetically? Let's say hypothetically, for the sake of argument, one puts the Monty Python and the Holy Grail intermission screen as their AFK board. That would give me an MP4 file in the back of the video. It would make uh, the the women swoon and the men. Uh, let's say, for sake of argument, uh, howl at the moon. Shapiro Knight. Everyone's favorite game on the Nintendo Wii U. <laughs> I was told there was a banquet hall. This, this is a travesty. The only thing fit to order here is a complete renovation. Psh. Treasure Knight with the fucking slam dunk. Alright. Oh, uh, let's keep going. There's a new, there's a, there's a new bottle to slap on that guy's face. Wait a minute. No, no more science. Explosions ring constantly in my ear. I have fucking tinnitus. I see bright flashes when I close my fucking eyes. I don't know how his minions can stand it. It's driving me crazy. Don't worry, buddy. I've got just the thing. Notice how his walk pattern changes. Just a little, a little differently every time. So you fuck it up. Behold my metallic sheen from Planet Sheen. So he wants to go to Clockwork Tower with, with Tinker Knight. Seems like a level-headed leader. We should go there next, since he mentioned it. Let's go. Actually, wait, let's not go yet, because I have 14,000 gold, and not spending that would be fucking stupid. Uh, let's do that first. Casual playthrough, ahoy! Uh, break checkpoints to lower your- oh, that's- that's pretty gambly. I'm not good enough at the game right now to do that shit. If I wasn't streaming it, I might get that one. The brown one's fucking nuts. Uh, looks like I got that, so I don't need that. I don't want to do more Red Wisp shit right now. Or, or Red Wisp? Red Skull. Red Wisp. Hmm. hmm. What was the Red Wisp? Was there Red Wisp? In Sonic? Sonic Colors? Sonic Colors has its known in power regions. Remember. Uh, these are just upgrades. I don't. Ah, f Wait, isn't there a guy that gives me. No, he just upgrades my items. Okay. Alright. Um. Shit. Yeah, let's do- let's upgrade that one. I got fucked with the money. Technically, we could buy the gaudy suit for funsies, but... Eh. It literally does nothing. 
Grants invincibility. Grants invincibility while floating. Thank you, bitch. Thank you. That's what I want. Thank you, daddy. All right, now let's go to the clockwork orange. What's it called? Clockwork Tower. Everyone's favorite Queen of the Stone Age album. What is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, see the ones on the. Or no? Hmm. So, they're they're measured by like this treasure, and I think those are supposed to be like the hardest ones. So like, I think Propeller Knight and uh, probably one I already did and just didn't notice. And then Tinker Knight are supposed to be like the hardest. I think this one is like one of the hardest ones from my memory, but we'll see. Oh no! Stop right there! Rise is here to save the day! The fuck? The one and only! Uncle said there's evil stuff going on in here, and when evil's afoot, Rise is on this. Uh, the right. Oh, Jesus. Childish. Stupid. You belong in this place. Run along before you get hurt. Oh, I think he said you don't belong in this place. <laughs> He's childish. Stupid. You belong here. I hate my place of work. Who dares to intrude on my tower? Hey lady, my name's Rise. Are you here to help me beat these guys up? Okay, this is a lot of dialogue. So, uh... Darkness imprisons him. All that he sees, absolute horror. Can't live, cannot die. He's trapped it to himself. Trapped in himself, rather. This is the kind of feeling. I can't stop the feeling. All right, so now you gotta fight Boomer Rangus. I don't remember what the fucking deal is, how you beat him, what his deal is. Avoiding his attacks is fairly straightforward, but except that one. Aye. Show me your moves and such. I definitely won't cheat and regenerate my HP. <laughs> mm, no, sir. So the, the floating thing has invincibility, it's basically just a worse version of the phase locket from a shovel. Which, uh, fuck it. Still not a bad thing to have on you. That's probably why I remember it now. I, I remember using it a lot. Dot dot dot. Let's see. Uh, the Acolyte is also in... Uh, King? I don't know if he's in... I'm sure he's in Shovel and uh, Plague, but I don't remember what the fuck he does. Do not fail me again, you cock. Oh shit, I should probably do this real quick. Mm, blop. Blop. Okay. Damn. He immediately, like, like, no sense of confusion. They're like, what is this inside me? He's just like, fuck. I'm evil now. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna go here. You hone your edge. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I didn't even have to do that. I did not have to do that with that wall drill. Fuck that money. Fuck this money. <laughs> yeah, baby. 
Get everyone's favorite Marvel villain, Red Skull. I'm sure someone's favorite Marvel villain is Red Skull. Somewhere in the world. Uh, I don't remember the fucking gimmick to this. <laughs> Actually. Oh wait, can I go up the wall? No. I don't remember what the fuck I'm supposed to actually do. Maybe yeah, it's have to go down in the hole. Nope, it kills you if you go down in the hole. So, uh, that's ill-advised. I don't remember what the fuck you're supposed to do here. Oh, you can fucking slash it up. <laughs> and then... Kill yourself with it. Jesus. Uh, fuck that one. I don't care. Shit's not as scary when you're a big, fast zombie knight. You're a little shovel boy. It's a lot more daunting. When you, when you, when you got little stubby legs. I got big, long, skelly legs in this game, so I'm good to go. Okay, so you have to hit them to make them, to make them slashable, which is really fucking me up for some reason. Ugh. Yes. Come on. Give me one. Just give me one. Please. Please, Lois. You gotta give me a fucking gear so I can slash it up. That was horrible. All right. Nope. Um, shit. How does one do? Oh, got the wall jump. I tried to look cool. It wasn't my mistake. Spectre Knight always looks cool. That's the twist. Ah! There's <laughs> the checkpoint and I want it. I want it. Nope, nope, yes, okay. I'm not dying yet. Ah, why did I do that? That was a stupid thing to do. Don't you shoot a gear at me. Don't you die, buddy. Alright, there's no secret thing. Ooh, my back fucking... Hey, my back fucking... My back feels fucking bad. Let's probably check for a secret there. There's not one. Gotta check for secrets everywhere, Shovel Knight. It could be anywhere. Here, there, all around the square. Oh, I can't fin- I can't finish that song lyric. Cause it's not Christmas. You're not allowed to do Christmas on Halloween at the same time. It's not allowed. Too much joy. Too much happiness. You think future generations, there will only be like... The apocalypse will happen. There will only be like a couple movies left over from our civilization. One of them will be Nightmare for Christmas on, on, on Betamax. And... Uh, People will be like, this was it. This is what they celebrated around this time of the the rotation of the Earth. And they'd be like, oh, that's fucking weird. And, well, let's go. It's 130 million degrees out, so snow doesn't happen anymore. But uh, let's, let's, uh, let's go give it a whirl. And then they just celebrate uh, Halloween and Christmas at the same time. Because they, they saw Nightmare Before Christmas. So karma, 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 chameleon. He said, "That's what I want for Christmas." Oh wait, you know, Christmas Ween is a is a, is, a, is, a, is a Homestar Runner. I think I already did that. I think it's been a while since. Oh no, December Ween. That's what it's called. It's 
Some home store runner, some home store runner shit's still actually pretty funny. Most of it's not though. <laughs> It's not bad, it's just really fucking stupid. Like me. Uh, don't even walk into fucking shit like that. Oh, I actually probably need one of these to get up there. There, yeah, oh no, no. I got the blue soul. Looks like it's kind of sad. Like, they gave him just enough eye pixel to be like, oh, just fucking consume me already. I don't want to be alive in this realm anymore. Boop. Down we go. Oh, there's the checkpoint. I was just thinking, like, it's been a while since we've seen a... So we've seen a good old-fashioned checkpoint around these parts. And there it was. It was beautiful. There's a secret upon us. If it's not clear, I don't remember how these gears work. I think they just hit you. <laughs> I don't think there's a real thing to them. They just fucking make them bleed. Yay! Oh, I gotta get that red, red and I gotta go. To, I gotta go red it. This is what they mean by Reddit, by the way. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, the whole website is just a, ga a guide for Spectre of Torment. How to Reddit. I feel like there is some cool secret in this, uh, in this, in this screen, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> but the... But fuck it, I die on the normal obstacles. Who needs secrets? The f the, when you find a secret in Shovel Knight, and you open it up, and it's just a big letter that talks about the weird stuff that Donovan does in his, in his bathroom when no one's looking. And all the people that let's play and stream this go, I found a secret! <laughs> the secrets in this game are so neat. They're all really easy to find, but they're all fucking horrifying and disgusting. Oh, okay. I thought it was just gonna kill me because it's a moving screen. I can't found it either when all the screens move. Thing you can do, you dingus. I already want another checkpoint. I'm such a pussy. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Me. I didn't look that far down yet. All right, so go here. Get the fuck out of dodge. Hit a rat once or twice. Easy peasy. Typical shit that they teach you in fucking third grade. Gears. Gears. Don't like these gears of fears. Speaking of wish, um, if you want some good '80s music, I actually dove down the Tears for Fears uh, rabbit hole this uh, earlier this year. Tears for Fears of the year if you will, and I gotta say, some good fucking shit that people don't talk about with Tears for Fears. There's also some horrible garbage phase where he tried to be like, where the, the Kurtward, or not Kurtward Smith, this guy from the 70s show, where the fuck the vocalist name is from Tears for Fears, he tried to do this like blues album, 
And it was a it was it was a Tears for Fears album. It wasn't like a solo thing. And it's him just being like, oh, which normally would sound great in a Tears for Fears song that was good, but it's mostly just basic like chord progressions. But it's like bluesy, and there's a girl that sings like soul shit over it, so it's supposed to be good. It's fucking high. It's actually kind of stinky. Um, but the other shit though, songs from the big chair and um. Um, the hurting, fucking wonderful. They have huge fucking hit songs on them too, is the thing. But, uh, songs around them, like listening to the album front to back for both, is actually like kind of a fucking wonderful experience. It's actually very, like, droll and, like, depressing. But that's why I like it. If you haven't noticed, I have a soft spot for the macabre. I don't think I did this right. No, I did not. Fuck. Yes. Damn, chopping, 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 chopping. My favorite musical composer of all time. He's chopping. Oh, yes. How do I get this one? This is quite the pickle. Oh, I gotta get that in here. No! There's a limited window of how you can do it. Shit. Okay, yes! Okay. I, I, it seems like I'm hamming it up, but I think that the getting the red skull in this game is just genuinely that fucking satisfying to me. Um, I guess I don't really need it to progress though. I'm actually, um... I have a blog that I've been- that I don't really talk about on here. And I think maybe I should fucking, uh... Maybe I should talk about it once so people know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you need him to do that. Shit, okay. Uh, I think I'm ready for this one. Uh, I've got one boinging around. I think that helps me. And then we got this one. It's boinging about. Yes! Okay, cool. I figured out how to play the game. Everybody is over. Uh, but yeah, I have, a, uh, I, have a, I have a Spotify account that I, like, have been putting shit on. And, like, I make a big blog post about shit I've just been listening to. Which is kind of weird, but, uh, I mean, it's not weird. It's the most, like, basic bitch thing that I could probably do on YouTube. I've been doing it since... I don't remember when I started the blog. I've been doing the music thing, though, on it since... Uh, where I talk about music that I like since, like... 2018, I think, was the first one. It's just a bunch of shit that I listened to in that year. It has nothing to do with the fact of like what year it was for the general public. It's just I got into it at that time. <laughs> I'm going! Oh, there's a claw hand. There's a little goon. It's a little baby with a claw hand. Uh oh. Fuck. Shovel Knight and scrolling screens upward. It's, a, it's an evil fucking thing. Ah, I'm still gonna get by that fuck. Uh, oh. I'm, oh, getting greedy. Fuck. Never mind. Don't want it. Don't need it. <laughs> I'd rather have safety net. And money. Uh, yeah. uh, oh. oh, fuck. Oh, no. It's gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh, no, it didn't kill me. It understands my plight. 
That's the other reason I like Shovel Knight's Spectre Torment. It's the only thing that gets me. Okay. I don't think there's any more. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. There is a secret in this room. And it's of chicken. I'm gonna need a swig of Dr. PP for this one. Saddle up, gaming. <laughs> what? I just called them all game men. It's what they are, right? When they play game. <laughs> I don't know why that, that particular piece of dialogue entranced me so. Would clock, would, would Tinker Knight please come to the principal's office? The Enchantress would like a word. Damn, we just caught him a fucking tool straight up. This is gonna be the most intense fight of the whole game right here. Might as well be the final fucking boss. Uh, eh, Uh-oh, I don't remember how that one works. Okay, that's not, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Oh, that's a wall of spikes. That's really bad. That's not good for my health at all. Yeah. I don't like it when you do this for me, Tinko. Get back, bitch. Get soldered to shit. Uh oh! He's flying about. That's shit. Alright. It's one of these. This reminds me of some, like, shitty Sonic boss or something I can't put my finger on right now. But, like, it's not Sonic, so it's cool. <laughs> Actually, this would be cool if it was a Sonic fight, so. Clearly, this isn't, like, a Sonic thing. This, this, this particular concept of a boss is like it's some of the most Mega Man shit in this game there's a lot of Mega Man shit in this game though oh come on oh deck yes yes oh fuck get fucked yes it's <laughs> my new voice shit fuck oh I made it <laughs> well Seymour I made it despite your directions oh I can reflect those I didn't know that I did not know that ever I did not know you could reflect the fucking plumes yeah that was fucking cool I only had to do the greenest once which many fans of this game would still say is pretty fucking lame but I don't give a I don't I don't give a shit Hello, Darnish, my old friend. <laughs> and then they put the colors on the screen. They said it freaking nice nice purple and green. I don't know if you guys know this, but there are people on the internet that just make song parodies of previously existing popular songs, and it's fucking... Like, can you even imagine? The Kiss of Death! What? I don't even like Megadeth. Oh! Oh, fuck! Spectre of Torment said gay rights, bitch! Oh, never mind. <laughs> No, it did not. Yeah, if you think about it, death, pansexual icon. Tools of War can force a kind of peace, but Gears of War, that's just fucking epic. 
Anybody else I haven't talked to up here? Uh, I think we're all, I think we're all on the same page over here. Let me see if I'm wrong. Nope, just Amoebus. <laughs> Amoebus. I don't remember her actual fucking name, clearly. Uh, I didn't miss the thing, that's good. Uh, I don't think there is another cloak. I think these are it. This is all you get. Uh, I can upgrade a uh, item. I keep thinking this. Why'd you go up? It's not. Oh, my, it's my body. My mind. My soul. Uh, purple balls. Create a shield which blocks projectiles. To charge up. I'm gonna wait and see if something else comes along. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna go see if there's good upper up, oh, good upper grades. He says. Jesus. Turn him that color? Yeah, we'll find out in a sec. Um, well, fuck. It's the only one I can upgrade. There's not a whole lot to spend money on. Wait, what does this do now? I didn't read that. Passes through obstacles and recovers gold. Darkness Wisps 2, Willful Wisps 3. Hmm. Okay. I guess, uh... How's your mission going? I'm doing great. Clockwork Tower, things are busy. Seems like his life is going well. Let's fuck it up. 